What's up, truth seekers? Welcome to this video where I'm going to talk to you about the three biggest style mistakes that men make. Before I give you the three biggest style mistakes, let's define what we're talking about here. What is style? Is style what's in a GQ magazine? Is style what's on your Instagram? Is style just the clothes that you wear? To me, style is the external representation of who you are internally. So to that end, your clothes are your style. The way you do your hair is your style. The way you communicate is your style. The way you use your words, the cadence in which you speak, the way you carry yourself and move through life. To me, that's all style. So with that being said, what are some of the biggest mistakes guys make when it comes to being able to convey stylishly who they are in the dating game? The number one mistake guys make is the lack of dominance. And what is dominance? Dominance originates from the caveman days, when human beings faced a lot of dangers from wild animals, survival issues, and the hunter who could show dominance, who could lead a tribe, who could defend himself, who was strong and could fight, would be viewed as more attractive. These attraction circuits have evolved over hundreds of thousands of years, and they're not going to change anytime soon. Now, in today's society, women are no longer looking at a guy to fight off a woolly mammoth or a saber-toothed tiger. Instead, what she's looking for is a level of edginess in your style that conveys social intelligence, and strength. For example, here is a picture of me right out of college. You can tell right away that I look like a weak dude, right? And what's the difference in this picture versus this one? An easy hack to increase your dominance is just to get a fitted leather jacket. Another way to increase dominance that's very low cost is just to get a leather bracelet. Now, this bracelet, does it have any actual utility value? Not really. But why do we find it more attractive or more dominant? Is it because this reminds us of the hunter days where we had tools that we could pull out and use? Or is the leather reminding you of some hunt I just went on? I don't know the answer to that, but I know that very small trinkets or accessories are used as ornaments in all cultures as a form of status symbol within that tribal group. The only caveat I have to dominance is if you're a guy who's super buff, let's say you're a Vin Diesel lookalike or you look like The Rock, you don't need to add more dominance. You're already pretty dominant just by your physical stature alone. If you're a guy who's very masculine features in your face, you don't need to add more dominance. In fact, over dominance can sometimes make women feel scared. You ever see one of those doorman guys who looks very intimidating? That's over dominance. The second biggest mistake guys make is a lack of eliteness. Now, eliteness is the idea that you can play dress up and you can navigate through the social hierarchy. This is one of those things that women won't say publicly, but every girl is wondering in the back of her mind, is this guy going to get me to a higher social stratosphere? She wants to feel safe. She wants to be protected. She wants to be financially secure. So for eliteness, I always demonstrate it with at least one picture on my profile where I'm wearing a suit and tie to let her know that I can look good, I can clean up well, and I have the social intelligence to run these circles, even if I don't enjoy hanging on them too long, I know how to portray myself in a very high class way. Eliteness can also be portrayed by the way you communicate, being willing to walk away from things, being not afraid to pause during certain words when you're talking. I went to a, like a, one of those elite schools, right? And there's a very subtle difference between people's behavior patterns and the way they speak versus what they call normal people. And if you can just copy those small social cues, you can get into these social circles that you never thought were possible. It doesn't mean you're trying to be someone else. It just means that every social circle has these little status symbols that are subcommunicated. And if you can recognize them and replicate them, you can get into these circles easily. What's elite in one circle might not be elite in another. Let's say I'm in a modeling circle. When I talk about photographers, lighting, camera angles, those things show that I understand the industry. If I'm talking to bottle service girls on industry night, they might be interested in what clubs are opening. What are some places to go during the week? What do you do during the day? Cause they work at nighttime. If I go to entrepreneur social circles, what business am I running? What projects am I thinking about? What's my next business idea. So all these different things convey different eliteness factors. And the way you dress to an industry night, to a modeling show, to an entrepreneur business organization are going to be different and reflect that you're socially intelligent enough to understand these social cues in that social circle. The third biggest mistake guys make is let's say they have dominance and eliteness. They look dominant, attractive, they look elite, they have the social status. Now it's like this guy seems very far apart. I feel like I can't approach him. So openness is a way to get girls to approach you and to start the conversation. Openness can be conveyed through a funny t-shirt. I had a guy wear one of those custom printed tees that said, kick me if you're single. I used to have this bracelet that had like two silver rings on it. And whenever I moved, it would clink and all the girls would come up to me and say, are you into like BDSM or is that a kinky thing? I'm like, no, I just like the way this, you know, this looks. I found it at a Japanese store. That would get girls to open me all the time. My mentor, Eric, used to call it peacocking, which is where one interesting thing that really stands out 
out from the rest of your outfit that people can make a remark about. You're making it easy for the girl to approach you and say something. When you combine these three style triggers and you fix your style mistakes from a lack of dominance, a lack of eliteness, a lack of openness, suddenly you have a guy who creates attraction with dominance, a guy who understands eliteness, who can climb social circles, who has social value and can navigate that hierarchy, a guy who is open. I feel like I can go talk to him at a social event. There's something interesting. Oh, that comment. I have to make a comment about that shirt. I feel compelled. I feel almost like I can't resist to say something about that thing he's wearing. These three factors, when you do it right and you go to your social event or if you convey them on your, on your profiles and your social media or your dating apps, girls will suddenly feel compelled to actually interact with you and make that first move, make that first statement, send that first message. Okay, there are eight total style attraction triggers. Today, I just covered these three because they address the biggest style mistakes that guys have. These are first principles. In other words, these are hardwired. They've been there for hundreds of thousands of years in human beings, and they're not likely to go away. If you wanna learn more about how to implement dominance, eliteness, and openness, as well as the remaining five style attraction triggers, well, I just spent a year building my product Seduce with Style. In Seduce with Style, I talk about these eight style triggers that I discovered from over three years in the modeling industry, where I transformed transform from a socially awkward 23 year old virgin to a guy who looked good to a guy who actually got into fashion shows to a guy who actually started dating models by understanding these principles i show you how to use these triggers when you go to social events to build up your social media profiles so girls start messaging you first to understand how these triggers work with your online dating and how your online dating becomes like a landing page with your profile pic your second profile pic and why these pictures can be shaped in a way where the girl feels a pull to message you first so this was style also includes a lot of footage from my modeling days where I interviewed some of the top girl models of my day about what they like about guys, how they view dating, and how you can date girls at this level. This course has over 100 video lessons at this point. I've just been adding to it based on feedback and now it's gotten to a point where I consider it a master course. So check out the course using the link below and if you just want to download the eight style attraction triggers and understand how they work and fix your existing style mistakes then just go to highintegrityskills.com slash style four or click the link in the description to download these hacks right now that's going to help you improve your look improve your image and get you better results the next time you go out or the next time you optimize the pictures on your dating profiles the eight style attraction triggers is completely free it's a free download and seduce with style is a master course that you can access and when you get access to it you'll also have an invite to our private facebook group where a lot of guys post pictures and get direct feedback from me and my coaches. So you start getting into this, what we call feedback momentum. In other words, you're getting the correct feedback and you're making changes and you're getting really fast social momentum and results start coming in really quickly. So check out the course, high integrity skills slash style four, download the free style attraction triggers and check out Seduce with Style, the course. I'll see you in the next one. If you're new to my channel, the reason I refer to my viewers as truth seekers is because here we don't just focus on the superficial level of dating advice. We go down to the core principles of how attraction works. Because once you understand the core principles, you can develop your own techniques and tactics that are authentic to you.